As you know, it's easy to add many different types of Gutenberg blocks to a poster page. And it's super easy to move blocks around on the page. Unfortunately, that freedom also makes it easy to disconnect blocks with related content. And it's also tedious to move related blocks around individually. Fortunately, the group block solves these annoying problems. Let's jump into WordPress and take a look. So I'm in WordPress and I'm about to add a few blocks to make a call to action so that people can subscribe to my email newsletter. And I know I'm gonna use a headline and an image and a button, uh, but I also know that I'm probably gonna to wanna to move it around on the page. I'm not sure where I wanna position it. I don't necessarily want it at the bottom of the post. And uh, so I want those to be grouped. So the first thing I'm gonna do is add the group block and that will create a container that I can put those other elements into. So I'm gonna click the Add New Block button, and I'm gonna search for Group. And I see the group, I'm gonna select that. And so now I've added the group block. That is the container. By itself, it doesn't appear to be much, but there is a plus button in the middle. And when I click that plus button in the middle, I'm actually adding a new block to the group. So let's look for a headline first. Just select Heading right there. And that's a normal heading. It just happens to be inside a group. I'm gonna add some text and select a different H size. Now you'll see I have two add block buttons. The top one is inside the group. The bottom one is below the group. So to add to the group, I'll click the top add block button. Now let me add an image. Select it from the media library. And now I'm ready to add a button. So let me adjust the centering on all of these. Okay, so I've created my three elements. I've got the headline, I've got the image, I've got the subscribe button. And I can edit them all individually. Do you see that as I select each individual block, I get the appropriate block toolbar floating over them. How do I know they're a group and how do I move the group? Well, as I hover over the icon, the first icon on the left on the toolbar, which is the change block type button, when an item is in a group, you see this additional button appears, pops up at the top, select the parent group. If I click that button, I select the whole group and you can see the whole group is selected. And then when that's the case, the move button moves the whole group. So you can see as I select move up, I'm moving this group through the content. I can move it down as well. Now individually, when the group is not selected, when the block in the group is selected, I can move the block around in the group. So if I want the image over the headline, then I can select the group, and now the group has been reordered, but it's still a group, and I can still move it around. So if you get confused, you can go to the block navigator, and you see there are my blocks within the group, but if I actually get out of the group, I see the block navigator for the whole post. I've got a lot of paragraphs interspersed with headings and lists, and at the bottom I've got this group, and I can select the group. And that is a group block, and that is how you put blocks into your group block and edit them and move them around within the group and then move the group around within your post. And that's how you make use of the Gutenberg group block.